Our society has countless images, ideas, and stereotypes about change agents. People who help an organization transform by improving business process and interpersonal interactions. Whether influencing fashion, business, art, entertainment, science, politics, or law, these change agents have and continue to positively impact today's society on so many levels. And today, we are proud to share the story of these business owners, coaches, innovators, and thought leaders from various industries who are eager to educate, inspire, and motivate you. This is Our Voices on the Voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. Welcome to Our Voices, powered by the Nassau Community College Foundation. My name is Natasha Nurse. I'm the owner and co-founder of Dressing Room 8, co-host of Woken Free, and the lifestyle editor of Plus Model Magazine. And this show is focused on highlighting the amazing work of powerful change agents who have a great message to share with the world. And today, I'm really excited to be speaking with Visit.org co-founder and CEO, Mikkel Alter. She has been working in technology and social development for over 15 years. In 2015, she founded Visit.org a platform that helps companies integrate social responsibility into corporate culture, combining her love for technology with her dedication to social development. As one of the first female pilot cadets in the Israeli Air Force and a computer science engineer, Mikhail worked as systems architect at Nuance Communications and at Risk Modules, both part of the thriving Israeli high-tech industry. Her passion for social development began as the Director of Refugee Affairs at the city government in Tel Aviv, where she led social service delivery and programming to serve 20,000 refugees from Darfur, South Sudan, and Eritrea. After moving to New York, she consulted at various leading nonprofit organizations, including New York Care, Solar One, UNESCO, and Women's World Banking. So without further ado, how are you, Mikhail? I'm great. Thank you. And thank you for having me here today. Absolutely. So I guess first, I just want to know, and for everyone listening as well, how did Visit.org come to be? What's the story behind your amazing platform? Sure. Visit.org started about three years ago when um, a few of my background stories came all together. So I started my career in computer science as a software engineer and worked for uh, different startups. And then uh, later on, uh, took a full year to travel uh, in Latin America and realized that my most memorable experiences have been when I interacted, had a chance to interact with the locals. Mm. And then lastly, once I started uh, volunteering and then working for a nonprofit uh, back in Tel Aviv, I saw the amazing work that this local nonprofit was doing and the trust relationship that they have with their their members of local community and thought that, uh, wow, these guys have very unique access to uh, an amazing local culture, but not very many people get access or uh, exposure to the work that this nonprofit does and the people that they interact with. So the idea for Visit.org came kind of the intersection of all the, of these three areas. So mm. I thought... Why not use technology to enable anyone around the world to uh, get direct access and interaction with the local nonprofit, the best nonprofits out there, um, and have the nonprofit uh, get them to explain what they do uh, to the visitor with a very short and interactive experience Mm -hmm. where uh, the local culture and history and expertise are shared with the visitor and the visitor's impact is with the dollars that they leave in the hands of the nonprofit. Mm, okay. And can you explain some of maybe like the favorited experiences that are taking place through the platform with some of the organizations that you, you work with? Sure. So today we uh, work with about 800 vetted nonprofit and social ventures around the world in 80 countries around the world. Mm -hmm. Um, And some of the favorite experiences that people book on our platform are things like um, um, uh, an authentic cooking workshop with refugee women here in New York City in Harlem Mm. um, to uh, make your own coffee with the Coffee Farmer Cooperative in Guatemala for a day uh, or spend a day with women entrepreneurs uh, from the Bedouin community in the south part of Israel 
and all of them it's all about um, interacting with people uh, from local communities that otherwise you would never have a chance to interact with mm-hmm. when you travel um, and visit.org platforms works both with individuals as well as companies so for companies we have we help companies to Uh, integrate this kind of social impact experiences into their day to day by bringing for example this catering service by refugee women into the office uh, here in New York and so forth oh very cool okay very interesting yeah and um, from the from a company side how has how has they how have they benefited essentially from utilizing your your platform and and getting to know these various organizations that you're paired up with Yeah, so companies that we work with, um, it's all about getting their employees engaged in a real authentic way with their local communities. So mm-hmm. the way uh, companies are used to doing good or giving back traditionally is a lot through philanthropy and volunteerism, which are great, um, but it, they, it really doesn't touch the employee when they sit in their office, their day-to-day work. Mm-hmm. So the way... Uh, innovation with our platform lies in the fact that uh, the employees start to um, get a, for example a weekly yoga class from a nonprofit that brings yoga to underserved uh, youth in the Bronx or mm. and during their happy hour they get to hear a, an inspirational talk by a leader of a social movement or a community member that has an inspiring personal story to share <clears throat> so for companies, Um, the real uh, output is uh, get, uh, their employees get much more engaged and mm-hmm. participate in, uh, a lot more in these kind of activities and therefore feeling much more connected to their employer and uh, the company that they work for. I love it. And from a user perspective, how uh, like for the, the average woman or man who's like booking their trip to Cancun and stuff like that, how do they how can they think about what what visit.org can offer them while they're you know planning their festivities for you know X amount of days right. or for the week? Yeah, so it's all about making it super easy and accessible to anyone <clears throat> to add this kind of unique, authentic experience mm-hmm. to the trip that they already love to do and they already plan to do. So if you already plan your vacation uh, trip to Cancun, you still go ahead and do what you love doing at your resort or whatnot. But if you also want to have a chance to interact with real members of local communities, Then you can uh, log on visit.org and just look for Mexico, look for Cancun, and see what kind of experiences we offer around uh, where you're staying. And you can just very easily book it with a click of a mouse on, on the visit.org platform, and you'll get a chance for a couple of hours to leave your uh, hotel and go out, interact with locals. And usually the, you know, the reviews that we get from our customers is really that this becomes Uh, the visit.org activity becomes the most memorable experience that they had in their itiner- entire itinerary, even if it was only for two hours out of a five days vacation. Mm, I love it. You are listening to Our Voices on the Voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. My name is Natasha Nurse, and my guest today is Visit.org co-founder and CEO, Mikhail Alter. So I, I love that you're saying that you, essentially what Visit.org is doing is you guys are like adding kind of this specialness, this like magic experience that you could experience right. while, while you already were like going to cut away and, and, and kind of travel. Do you feel like what you're offering is also going to encourage people to travel more as well and, and think outside of the box as to where they travel to? Oh, absolutely. We get the amazing stories uh, all the time from people who visited one of our partner uh, social ventures or nonprofits around the world. And when they come uh, back home, They just cannot get this experience out of their head. And mm. the first thing they do is they, they stay in touch with the nonprofits that they visited. And mm-hmm. sometimes they even uh, start to take additional actions in terms of uh, staying in touch, uh, supporting their, some of their campaigns on social media, maybe even donating, maybe getting some uh, of their friends to come on the next trip. One of the mm. most fantastic stories that we had was um, uh, a retired doctor who, that visited uh, one of our partner organizations in Ethiopia 
and ended up going back home uh, to the U.S. and uh, gathering a bunch of uh, his uh, physician friends. And now the, once a month they send uh, a, a physician from the group is going to Ethiopia to provide health care to the young women who were part of that nonprofit. Mm. So amazing stories. It really can change your entire perspective on life, on travel and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And for people who maybe are hesitant with traveling, right, or they, they don't have enough experience with it, what advice would you say, given, you know, your travel, extensive travel experience and also the great work you're doing with Visit.org? Yeah, um, I definitely encourage everyone to travel in the way they feel most comfortable, right? So if mm-hmm. uh, if you're more hesitant about going to faraway places, uh, you prefer to just stay local and travel around the U.S., it's an amazing country to visit as well. The thing is, uh, with Visit.org, from the very beginning, we realized that there are amazing local nonprofits and social ventures everywhere around the world. It can be in remote countries and it can be right here in our backyard. Mm-hmm. Um, so wherever you travel, make sure that you feel safe and that uh, when you plan it, there are people that you trust that plan it with you um, and you stay in places that, where you feel safe. But the going out to a visit.org experience, we make sure we always vet all of our partner organizations. We always send our ambassadors to visit it first to make sure that the experience is positive. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why we do that work for you, so that the Visit at Oaks experience feels as safe and uh, as fun Mm -hmm. uh, as any other experience you would do on your trip. I love it. Okay. And what would you say has been the most meaningful lesson that you've learned from creating uh, the platform Visit.org? On... A personal level or on a company level? <laughs> <laughs> I guess both, right? Uh, personally and, and professionally, yeah. What have what have been the most meaningful lessons you've learned? Yeah, um, we've been um, truly honored to work with all the uh, partner nonprofits and social ventures that we work with around the world. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I learned from it is that just that the more we can help them open the doors to more visitors who can get an exposure to the work, uh, the more we can put uh, um, dollars in their hands that goes that have direct impact, positive impact on their local community, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the better the world becomes. So I'm uh, very motivated to wake up every morning and uh, try to get more people uh, to hear about Visit.org and visit these amazing organizations. And really later on it becomes your own uh, transformational experience and you do whatever you want with it uh, when you go back home. Mm, okay. And given your background in technology, how do you feel like a uh, like virtual reality VR is going to like play a role with travel and also potentially the work you're doing with Visit.org? Yeah, I think it's a great uh, thing. It can only help and encourage more people to travel, uh, get some initial exposure, maybe when you're still home first and then go and experience it in person. Mm -hmm. Uh, I I don't think they'll ever have a replacement for an in-person interaction. And really, um, the whole premise of, uh, of, of the kind of experiences that we offer on the platform it's all about human interaction. It's mm. all about the magic of a moment where you connect with someone you didn't know a minute ago and all of a sudden you find something very much in common that has to do with your shared humanity. So uh, VR and all of these things, that I see it as a blessing. I think it will only encourage more of that uh, in-person human interaction. Absolutely. You are listening to Our Voices. My name is Natasha Nurse. More with my guest, Visit.org co-founder and CEO, Mikhail Alter, next on The Voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. An important message from Medicare. Between your doctor visits, taking the right medications at the right times, and following advice from different doctors, managing two or more chronic conditions like high blood pressure, arthritis, or diabetes, can be overwhelming. But it doesn't have to be. Chronic Care Management Services can help you get the connected care you need 
by connecting the dots between your medical appointments, pharmacy, and hospital visits. 